hey hi this is vishal and we are going to see a red teaming using drag me website so this is the pathway of to learn red teaming so our target is to aim the pathway is to show you how to emulate the potentially adversaries attacks in complex environment going beyond the penetration testing you will learn to conduct successful red teaming engagement and challenge the defense capacity or capability of your at clients okay so after completing this pathway you will have a uh, advanced skills needed to pursue new career opportunities in offensive security so what is prerequisites you need a uh, to be a uh, you know comfortable with the web application security and network security to complete this pathway if you do not or if you uh, do not already have this prerequisite is completed then you want to complete it using the junior penetration testing pathway uh, which is given in the trahack me website so these are the path or the points rating fundamental initial access post compromise host evasion network security visions and compromising the active directory so let me uh, clear the topics in each points so whether you want to see the points in a rating fundamental you can see the fundamental okay and then the engagement threat intel opsec and introduction of c2 command and control correct so you should have a knowledge like fundamental knowledge on rate teaming right so basic uh, rate team engagement the main components and scale holders involved and how rate teaming differ from other cyber security engagement in that topic you can learn these things so let me show you a little bit about the fundamental of rate team right so once you click on the red team fundamental learning page will be open so what is this they give you kind of a room as well here and uh, it's showing you some you know it is describing you something about the red teaming fundamental so what is cyber security why it is you know uh, useful what is black hat hacker and white hat hackers okay what is our objectives of room so you can see yeah vulnerability assessment and penetration testing limitations right so what is a vulnerability assessment what is penetration testing how it actually happen right what are the you know points are used while doing the penetration testing exploitation post exploitation you know like privilege exploitation uh, or post exploitation is nothing but to to you know expectation after the getting access access or being the exploitation later with what we call you know the data after the exploitation that we call the post exploitation so many concept were here right so in a post exploitation you can see suppose you hack one of the pc in the organization how to do the pivotings and how to compromise another pc and the network that a whole scenarios you can see in here that apt so advanced persistence threats and why regular penetration uh, is not enough okay so this all step we'll see here i'm not going to teach right now i am going to show you the points which will cover in a rating engagement all right so uh, this is a fundamental points and the second is red team engagement you can see the frameworks and the including the planning right and the documents are uh, doing in the engagement right that time so that all we will see in that second points another is red team a threat intel okay so and the one of that threat intel is nothing but you can see the apply the threat intelligence to the red team engagement and the uh, kind of advisory simulations uh, that all topics you can see over here
okay read team of six also the points learning how to apply the operation security process for the array team c2 a command and control to help you to become better red teamer and the simplify your next uh, red team assessment okay so uh, now so here you can see our uh, initial access right in initial access see uh, if I click on initial access it's scroll down and showing you here uh, some points like red team recon uh, it including lot of things to uh, recon DNS advanced searching using the recon ng multi-goes collecting information about your targets weaponizations understanding the and exclude the command uh, sorry common red teaming weaponization techniques you will learn to build custom payload using common method seen in the industry to get the initial access like shelling right shelling password attacks is one of the base points to do the successful password attacks we can use uh, it on the various services like ssh ftp smb okay net then where you can use the you know authentication there you can do the password attack another technique where you can learn is phishing right that you guys know very well right so this is second point initial access most of that point is used for to get the access weaponization is a technique use and yeah obviously uh they, it's it's effect actually third one is a post compromise here where you can learn about the steps take by the taken by the attackers right after the gaining the initial foothold on the network so once you're getting the foothold, initial foothold like weaponization, shielding it in the access, initial access, now you have access or the switch team or the target. Now do the post compromisation or post, you know, uh, exploitations. So what to do and how to do that all things is, first is the lay of the land. Okay. Here you can learn hands-on you know, with the common technical technology and the security products using the corporate environment both host and network based security solutions are covered here and you can see the lab as well enumerations enumeration is actually actually technique where you can find out the further exploitations after getting initial access so obviously we called it uh, post enumerations and i would like to say like you know once i do the first pre enumeration where you will find the vulnerabilities to get the access at least. So once you're getting the access, doing the initial access, later AI or you will do exfiltration, post exploitation, privilege exclusion. For that, need to do enumeration as well, right? So enumeration technique is also very important, right? Uh, another is Windows privilege exclusions. Okay, so what is uh, Windows privilege exclusion. okay enumerations 
this room is introducing uh, the enumerations when the approaching the unknown or corporate environment. Windows privilege escalations. Yes, in red teaming, most of uh, attacks will happen on the windows. So that's why we have a knowledge on windows privilege escalations. Here you can learn that all techniques. Okay. Another is windows local persistency. So persistence access means what? Uh, when, when you're getting the access on your target system, you need to do it persistency for making a access, you know, permanent or forever. It will not be permanent, but it will be stable forever. Uh, after, you know, shut down the PC or your target system, when it should, you know, uh, restart the system, you, are, you will get in the access again. That we call the persistent, the local persistence access. Ma, uh, you know, you will learn how to later moment and the pivoting. Okay, so later moment also very important getting privilege and uh, getting the another PC access. Okay, once you compromise one of the PC or systems uh, within that network, you are going to, you know, want to do uh, pivoting to compromising another PC or compromising the privileged user access that we, well, we you will learn here in the latter moment and the pivoting. Data exfiltration is one of the most important topic actually. Doing the data exfiltration and tunneling technique over the various protocols. Okay, like doing the covert channel and so many things over there. Host divisions. Uh, yeah, obviously uh, that topic is, uh, you know, cover uh, most of the point bypassing your security right or uh, yeah, which uh, security on the firewall is you in the windows operating system you're doing the evisions another is like you know uh, in that host evisions a lot of things is included in it okay but before doing uh, uh okay another technique is like host vision okay so windows internal we are what we learn here fundamental of how windows operation is at its core uh, introductions of windows api you can learn the interacts with the win32 api and understand it wide range of use of cases abusing a windows internals leveraging the winter internal components to evade the common detection solutions or you can you use the modern tool agnostics approach like that so another is like in antivirus here they introduce in the antivirus to know how the antivirus software work how it detect the techniques and use the bypassing the malicious files and another is av antivirus evidence shell codes doing the creating the encoding uh, you know, shell codes and packaging it, packing it, binaries and crypting it, right? Those. So that that's topic we'll learn over here. Learn over here. Another is, you know, of of a thing of of fuck. What is? Obfuscation. Obfuscation. Detect. Of actions principles leverage the tool agnostic software. Okay, of exceptions practices to hide the malicious functions and they create the new unique code so basically it is also working for the reading your antivirus or the virus signature revisions means what same is it is used to evade the common av using the modern tool okay bypassing uac right like account user account control it will bypass that technique as well 
runtime time detection evisions, evading the login and monitoring, living off the land. So uh, in that topics, you know, host evisions, a lot of topics is covered, a lot of. And it's a very important if you are wi virus or your payload is not evaded or evision, uh, okay, then that will be the chances to detect by the antivirus or firewall, which is in default uh, in your PC or the target system. So always remember that that host evisions topic is a very important. Every topic is important, but evisions topics is very important to uh, make sure to learn how to evade your payloads. Another technique or another method is network security evisions. So learning how to bypass and evade the different security solution using the industry such as a firewall and IDS and IPS. So it uh, is for the network security. So how to detect uh, how to detect that you know ideas and ips uh, that, that that technique also you should know and even how to bypass it you know that network security uh, solutions you can learn in that modules about the experimental with the various ideas and ips vision techniques okay firewall also uh, you can bypass the firewall right such as you know firewall use on the you know it, it help you to bypass the vision the technique it bypassing the firewall as well sandboxing vision also here you can learn a lot of things in network security visions as well so the last point is you know compromising the active directory so my favorite one till now we just see uh you know the technique of fundamental taking the axis doing the post compromisation doing the host vision network vision simple topics the last one is like you know compromising the active directory so uh, once you want to you know want to uh, start the, the red team red teaming the red you know so the most precious and interesting topic is compromising the active directory where you can learn first you can learn the active directory basic like what is active directory how to use the active directory and the concept okay and the functionality Okay, which is provided by the active directory you can learn over there basic thing another is breaching the active directory so obviously you don't need to make a lap here in a try hack me you kill you will get in the lap proper lab and uh, attacking machine as well if you want to uh, use attacking machine you can use your kali system uh, by downloading the you know vpn file make sure that uh, is connected to the try hack me uh, you know vpn and then do the attacks using the your system breaching the active directory means what you would like to learn here to find the credentials and hacking doing the enumerations and hacking uh, so the other topics enumerating or enumeration the active directory so always remember enumeration is a key of hacking so once you start the hacking you should have knowledge about how to do the enumerations so once you do the proper enumeration, you will get in the access of that server. Lateral movement and the pivoting, obviously it's part of uh, privilege discussions. Uh, exploiting the active directories, uh, persistent active directory, credential harvesting. Uh, here in the lateral movement and exploitation, curves attack, LDAP attacks, NTLMS, uh, NTLMS attacks, that, that that's will you know, cover in that topic. So overall, Red teaming uh, is a part of, you know, advanced offensive security. So this this course on the track me, okay, you can uh, spend a time, a lot of time up there, and you get a certificate as well. So my I completed a two percent path to but I will teach you from scratch on the first points till the last. So we'll, once we complete the cert, you know, that topic, we'll getting certification here, right? So I hope so you guys will understood the all red teaming points. Don't worry, this is just parts of red teaming. So one by one, we'll see the, the, the theoretical part as well as practical part as well. So this is a four or five topics, red teaming fundamental initial access, post compromisation, host division, network security division, and compromise active directory. So let's see on the second parts. I hope so you understood. Thank you. Bye-bye.